morning, 15th of the day, October. Well, I covered the walls last night with the insulation, the two back back panels anyway, shall we call them. And I've just done the vapour wrap. A little bit to do at the top there. Just having a little bit tidy up, trying to keep it as clear as possible so you're not tripping over your feet. So that's both sides done. Not too bad, it's 11 o'clock. I was waiting for daylight this morning to get out here and get cracking again. And today, gotta do it, haven't I? No hiding it. I need to put that vent that's up the top of there in that roof, and it ain't gonna do it on its own. I need to clean the roof, that's my next job once I've finished taping that off. Have a cup of coffee, clean the roof. We'll go from there. Right, the roof is washed and with it just being there where I'm putting the vent, I can actually put two scaff boards quite close together, like so, and I can just work from there, not too bad. Right, that's it measured out, and now the cut. Oh Jesus, just get it done. these shavings up straight away rust the trackers right that's it measured out and now the cut That's vent in and fastened in and just hoping it'll seal okay. It's like a water test in it. I noticed a leak on the left hand corner of the window so I need to bodge that. Well, rebond it should I say. Well, it's after I washed it, washed the roof. So all in all, nervy but not a difficult job. Just take your time with it. Take three, twice been disturbed. Morning, 16th of October, week two, Monday. I've just been to the local hardware shop to get some self tappers. I needed 20 to fix up. I masked it in, squashed it in tight from the inside. I'm just gonna drop the tappers in. If I had the tappers, I'd have done that yesterday, but I didn't. I was waiting on the delivery. And uh, look what turned up just as I got back to the house. Something else for the, the van. The carpet's arrived as well. So today I'm going to be putting the roof on. All the ventilation, all the um, insulation, sorry. It's a neighbour now with a dog. Oh, yo, what are you up to? Right, first nice and tight. I've cut the one out and I've put a little bit of, I'm not sure if you should or not, but that's what I'm, I'm doing to keep it on. It's going to get awkward getting these because I've made lips. Next time I do a conversion, I'll put these on after I've put the insulation on to hold it in. But anyway, learning as I go. So, yep, next one on, cut that one. Pal's on his way over for a cuppa, so I'm going to get cracking. That's the first section in. I've had my mate here for an hour. Good to catch up. I haven't seen him for a while. Um, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Just a little bit of glue on the 
four corners just to seal it up. I mean, remember, I'm going to have my boards going over as well, so there will be a little bit of ventilation running through in between the two. Now, for this section, it's slightly easier because it's just all in one. Get that one done now. Ah, the wind's got up a little bit, so I brought the <laughs> brought the stuff inside to cut it. It's a bit of a, a vine, but not too bad. Do me a cut on its side, so then to the next bit. After this section, this instead of trying to cut like a square and popping it in, because that just wouldn't work with me and my maths and whatnot. So I've got one section across there glued in. Section here, section here. I'll put this next section in now and any little gaps I'll use the spray foam to fill up and seal it off. So we'll have a full seal all the way around everywhere anyway. So it's me working in that and I've got a big hoodie on but it's warm in here. It's working. Anyway. Next bit. Right, that's the, the roof done. I just got all the silver tape to put on, all the gaps where the joins are and things like that. I've formed in the areas that needed it. And I got this last bit in, which was a little bit tricky. It's a slight angle. Didn't do too bad though. Looks good. I'm just gonna clean the van out. So I've got a nice fresh clean van to start again tomorrow. You later tomorrow buttons down this is the layout that we've got we've got a button going across the back end as you can see one nice and tight up there because it's going to be a lot of use steps and things like that that's not going to stay like that we're going to get a full length down a few strengtheners across ensuring that we'll leave some space for breathing because once this wood dries out and whatnot it will move about run it right to the end of here Gonna have buttons going in. Obviously, the insulation is going to go inside that um, cupboard. That's how far the cupboards are going to go out. That gives me enough room for the water storage gas bottle here, the back, and the bed is going to go to here. Not quite a double, but I am going to do that pull out bit to make it slightly longer. That's a long way down the line. I'm just focusing on the, the floor at the moment with Chris. We're both just going to get on with it. And I'll do another little upload once we've got the insulation down. That's it. Simple, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> right, might look like we've gone OTT with the strengthening boards and that, but while you can, why not? Belt and braces. Belt and braces all in. Only thing is marking out where they are for when we're screwing in, but we'll get to that. It'll be pretty solid. Extra lot in there because there's a lot of people walking in and out of there. Same around here where we're going to be sitting, table and chairs, I think. Cupboard here, cooker, gas bottles, bed. Even though we don't really need a lot of space, we're going to have a lot of storage underneath the bed, so we might as well just have a little bit extra support. So just going to weight it all down, it's all glued in. That was interesting. I think it's boring, wasn't it? Not really. Oh. It's frustrating. <laughs> well, I decided to have a patio instead. I'm going to get a couple of deck chairs. And um, that'll do. Right, as you can see, we've got the boards in here at the moment just weighting down with glued. All the what is it? Three B, three B two. Two B ones, the lats. Yeah. Yeah, two B one. We've got two B ones down. They've been glued in. We're not screwing into the floor. The stuff we've got is the the dogs. It really is, and we've had to leave it overnight to harden up. And trust me, you will not be able to get them off. Floor down tomorrow. Once we've got this lot in. Hoping that's enough. We've got two boards left and some offcuts from when I did the roof yesterday. 
and then we'll get on with the flow tomorrow. Get that down, get the boarding in, and then we've got a base to start working everything out. We've got a plan now as well. Somehow we'll manage to just eureka the entire van out within five minutes. Incredible. Good idea, good plan. We'll, we'll share that with you tomorrow. Brilliant. Happy days. Nearly time for a beer. Good morning. Well, all the weight's been on it all night. It's half past ten. I've just had to do resubmit my operations manual for my uh, drone pilot course that I had to take. Anyway, so it's held us up a couple of hours. It's nearly eleven o'clock, half ten, I think it is. I'm going to just empty this out and then I'm going to start measuring out and getting the boards in because this will be uh, solid all good get some music on get cracking
up your tears. First board, let's take a space shuttle. Just me. Anyway, first board in, we've got one in, another fitting. We'll see how we're going to get it like. 